this is by far the coolest piece of swag I have ever received uh, from anyone. This one is from, what the heck? Ah, there we go. From Gigabyte, yes. Gigabyte has partnered up with Saima, radio controlled product, new something something, metal series, three channels, infrared, RC mini helicopter, yes. Using a gyroscopes S107, your own space in the sky, special indoor design, adjustable trim control, rechargeable LiPo battery, and three-way precision controller, design technology interface. Gigabyte has delivered an RC helicopter to me. So I told Crazy Russian because he wanted to go do work or something like that, that if he sticks around and helps me with these unboxings today, that he can have the S107G Alloy Infrared Remote Control Helicopter. You can see right here is a balance bar, a main blade, and a main blade. That is to say there are two main blades. But I'm Okay, hey, that's my line. We have a tail blade, landing gear, a charging socket, a power switch, charging wire, and an infrared remote control. So remember, kids, infrared means that you must have a line of sight. Oh, it takes six AA batteries. So, uh, yeah, you're going to want to go ahead and have, like, lots of batteries on hand for this. Uh, you can hover up and down. You can turn counterclockwise and clockwise. You can go forward and you can go backwards. If the helicopter rotates whilst in operation, whilst, that is even the correct use of whilst. I am very impressed. Uh, please use the rudder trim to adjust. It has trim and everything. Look at that. All right. Spare parts list. Yeah, right. I mean, if you're actually going to, like, buy spare parts for this thing, you might as well just buy a new one, probably. Wow, it's actually made of metal. That seems like... Okay. I'm a little torn on this whole made of metal thing with this because like made of metal gives it a like a higher quality sort of feel but the disadvantage to being made of metal is that it is heavier which is going to affect performance negatively and potentially battery life negatively and the parts of the helicopter that are most likely to break so where metal would provide the biggest um, improvement to durability are the blades and those are made of plastic so you know yeah yeah i don't know yeah it's just sorry i'm having a little bit of trouble here guys getting these like hardcore twist ties look at these these are basically like paper clips um getting these out it's making me feel like not an experienced unboxer here Crazy Russian was commenting to me on getting up near the 1,000 video milestone, which is um, a lot of videos on the tube. 1,000 gigaviews. I have way more than 1,000 gigaviews. Actually, no, I don't. Hold on. What's giga? That's a billion? Yeah, I don't have 1,000 gigaviews. All right, so there we are. This thing actually looks pretty slick, doesn't it? So there's your charging jack right there. So what you do is it works like all of those little cheap airplanes and helicopters in that you open up this right here, you pull out the little charging cable. Once you've put in the six AA batteries, which inexplicably requires a screwdriver to put in and out, like, why? It's like extra work for no apparent reason. I remember when I was a kid, like when I was like 10, and I'd, I'd like get something, I'd be like, yeah, I'm gonna put my batteries in it. And I'd be, oh, I can't find a screwdriver. Cause like, most people don't just carry a screwdriver. It's like, oh, I'm at the store. I bought this cool thing and I bought some batteries. Let me just pull a screwdriver out of my back pocket. So anyway, you need a screwdriver in order to install the batteries. Up here we have nothing. And here's the infrared. Wow, those are super aligned. You can see this is a very high quality construction here. There's an on off switch. Ooh, channel selectable. So uh, based on whichever channel your chopper is, uh, I guess, just trial and error, just try things and then find out which channel it's using and select that on your controller. Okay, uh, there's your up and down control. There is your forward, back, right and left. This is actually very advanced for one of these like um, cheapo helicopters. And you know what? The build quality for all of my uh, griping about the controller actually looks pretty decent. So you can see that it uses um, rotating blades like, well not, yeah, obviously rotating blades, herp derp, but it uses blades that are mounted on little hinges here. So what that means is that if you're all like, 
and you hit something like the edge of a table, the chances of them breaking are dramatically reduced. I actually have a helicopter at home that uses a similar blade style and I've hit it on all kinds of things. My cats have like knocked it out of the air and... You had it stuck no, in the three once? Yeah, I had it. No, no, that was my plane. Um, okay, here is the back propeller. This one's probably pretty likely to break, but you, you know, what are you gonna do? Um, so yeah, I guess that's pretty much all there is to say about it. So Crazy Russian hopefully will uh, allow me to... Oh, no way. Okay, hold on. Oh, right, I don't have batteries in the controller. So I hope Crazy Russian will hopefully let us uh, do some, some footage of this flying once he's uh, got it all set up. And thank you for checking out this unboxing on Linus Tech Tips. I'm just trying to see how big the battery is, if I can see how many milli gigawatts it is. Milliamps. Milliamp hours. Whatever that unit is. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and... Oh no, we're gonna crash! Don't forget to get to the chopper! I didn't even notice this. Check this out. It comes with a USB charging cable for the chopper itself. So those six AA batteries are going to last you like 300 billion years if all they're doing is operating the infrared uh, emitter. Also, it comes with an extra propeller blade for the secondary prop in the back. Very cool.